Um, another thing I thought of that I need prayer about is uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't. I lost my train of thought. No, I really okay. apologize. No, that's fine. We all do that sometimes. But the Lord will bring it back to your remembrance. If not, then we'll just we'll just put it this way, guys. Chris right now, for some reason, can't remember, so he has what's called an unspoken prayer request that he wants you to pray for him, and God knows what the prayer is, and therefore it will be prayed for. But it's called an unspoken because if you don't know what it is or you don't want no one to know what it is, because you always you you don't always tell the right hand what the left hand is doing in ministry when you're at walk with Christ. Meaning you don't tell every bit of detail of everything to everybody. Because number one, that can make them feel sorry for you. Number two, that can cause all kinds of other stuff. So you don't always tell the right hand what the left hand is doing. It's like you don't go around to people, well, I gave to, you know, so-and-so, and I gave her 50 bucks. You 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 just bragging now. So don't always tell the left hand what the right hand is doing. That way Satan doesn't know what, what you need prayer for. And if he doesn't know what you need prayer for, then how can he how can he screw it up? He can't. He can't screw something up if he doesn't know it. Amen? Amen. So that being said, guys, let's pray real quick for the end of the show and for the listeners who will be coming in later on. Lord, we thank you that we... As me, Chris, and the listeners got to get together again, Lord. We got to super glue you to the middle of our surrounding, the middle of our table, and got to sup and have dinner with you, Lord. That we got to learn, not just learn, but learn about you and your word. And learn what it is that you want us to do. How we are to not lean to our own understandings, Lord. And help us to not lean to our own understandings. Give us the wisdom and the knowledge to lean onto your understandings, your path. Because without you, Lord, we are useless. And with you, we are fruitful in our everyday lives. So we thank you, Lord, that you're continuing to be the hedge of protection over us. The hedge of protection over Chris, me, each and every listener and the ministry, Lord, that we are going to continue with our faith into loving you, worshiping you, and giving you every bit of our heart that we can, Lord. Because the Bible says that he, the Bible says that he wants, or God or Jesus wants all of our heart. That, mean, that doesn't mean he just wants part of it. He wants everything that we have. All that we are inside that heart, God wants it. So that he can come back and he can say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Come on, enter into my kingdom and my glory. So Lord, we ask you to write the message on the tablets of our heart that when we depart, and we go to be with you, Lord. It will never depart from us. We ask, I ask you, Lord, to bless everyone that's out of a voice that not be a selfish prayer. Not one of those, well, I just want it, so you got to give it to me. Like my sister at one point, she, and excuse me for saying this, but I love her to death, but she has spirits in her. She gets so ir- agitated over like, just little things. Like her mom wouldn't give her super glue. I said, well, I need my super glue, and she is having a fit. Or, you know, there's times when she it's just... And I'm I'm lost my train of thought where I was going at now. Well, then not be selfish, because there's a lot of times where she is selfish, Lord. And she said at one point in time, she goes, "Well, she goes, my weed doesn't work on my TV, and I want everyone." She goes, and then Mom said, "Uh, well, maybe save up your money, you'll be able to buy you a TV, a good one that works on." It. She goes, "I don't want to buy my TV. I want everyone else to buy it for me." The mom goes, well, if you clean up your room a little bit, I'll help you. She goes, well, I love them in a pigsty. Well, that was the demon speaking through her at that moment entirely. So with that being said, bless them, Lord, that not be selfish. Not one of those I I want just because I have to have it. Rather than I needed to do what I need to do for you, God. So give them their heart's desires that not be selfish. And Lord, I ask you to heal them from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet from cancer and diabetes and multiple sclerosis and MD and muscular dystrophy and all these other illnesses, Lord. Especially the coronavirus. 
Yes, especially the coronavirus. And yes, Lord, the ones that contracted themselves through sin, the HIV, the AIDS, the syphilis, the gonorrhea. Now, why do I ask you to heal them, Lord? Because it shows your mercy, your power, and your grace. And I'm reminded again of a scripture, Lord, in your word. It says, you came through the door. It said, didn't say you opened the door. You passed through the door. You said, Thomas, look at my hands. Thrust your finger into my side and see that I'm not God. Thomas got on his knees and said, what, Lord? Is it truly you are the Son of God? And what did you say? Blessed are those who have seen and believed. But it didn't stop there. He said, blessed are those who have not seen but yet believed as well. So show them now, Lord, so that when you, when they need anything from you again, they do not have to see because they've already seen it before. So with that being said, we praise you, we thank you, we honor you, it's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for listening. God keep you safe. Absolutely. And like I always say, Chris, and I love doing this because this is and this was this was this was part of our message as well, too. But as always, this is TGIF reminding you to one, trust in the Lord in all your ways. Two, lean not to your own understandings. And three, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. Again, Chris, thank you and good night. Thank you. And for you listeners out there, thank you and good night.